This video demonstrates the installation procedure for the monogram wall vent hood for 36 and 48 inch models. There are three methods for venting, vertical venting through the ceiling or the soffit, and horizontal venting through the back wall. All three options will be covered in this video. Before proceeding with the installation, please ensure to switch off the power and lock the service panel. Always use metal ductwork to reduce the risk of fire. Utilize two people for proper installation to reduce the risk of personal injury or damage to the product. The dimensions of the 36 and 48 inch wall mount hoods are displayed on screen. 36 inch models require a 36 inch opening. 48 inch models require a 48 inch opening. The parts and hardware supplied along with the product is displayed on the screen. The hardware displayed on the screen is required to install the range hood. Note that these are not provided with the product. For removing the packaging, follow these steps. Remove all the parts and the hood body. Properly discard the protective plastic wrapping and other packaging materials. To vent through the ceiling, you will need a duct cover kit. Purchase the duct cover kit separately. Monogram duct cover kits come in three sizes to accommodate different ceiling heights, 8 feet, 10 feet, and 12 feet for 36 and 48 inch models, as shown in the table. Duct cover kit comes with a lower and upper duct cover. The upper duct cover slides into the lower duct cover to reach the desired heights. The kit includes mounting brackets to secure duct covers to the wall. The lower duct cover can be used alone and must be secured with duct cover bracket. To accurately locate studs, duct work and electrical service, make sure that the vent hood and duct cover are on site before final framing and wall finishing. The key considerations for determining duct cover installation height are as follows. The hood duct covers can be adjusted for different ceiling heights depending on the distance between the bottom of the hood and the cooktop. The distance should be minimum of 24 inches for electric range and 30 inches for gas range or cooktop. The recommended maximum is 36 inches. The length of the upper duct cover should be a minimum of 1 inch and maximum of 16 and a half inches and the length of the lower duct cover should be 20 inches. The height from the floor to the top of the cooktop should be 36 and 38 inches for electric and gas ranges respectively. Refer to the installation manual for the installation height table. Before proceeding with the installation, please ensure to remove house fuse or open circuit breaker. Do not use an extension cord or adapter plug with this appliance. Electrical supply to the vent hood must be 120 volts, 60 hertz, and connected to a properly grounded circuit protected with a 15 or 20 amp circuit breaker or time delay fuse. Wiring must be two wire with ground. Call a licensed electrician if the electrical supply does not meet the above requirements. Let's first look at the procedure for venting through the ceiling. To install the hood onto the wall, measure desired distance from the bottom of the hood to the cooking surface, 24 inches minimum over electric range or cooktop, or 30 inches minimum over gas range or cooktop. The maximum distance is 36 inches. Use a level to draw the cooktop or range centerline location. Draw a horizontal line indicating the bottom of the hood and draw another horizontal line 16 and 3 quarter inches up from the bottom of the hood indicating the location of the installation bar. For venting through the ceiling, extend the center line forward on the ceiling to the back wall. Measure 6 and a quarter inches from the back wall to mark the center point and cut a 10 inches diameter duct hole from the center point on the ceiling. Remove the duct cover wall brackets from the duct cover kit. Locate a minimum of two vertical studs from the ceiling to the top of the hood by tapping drywall with a hammer or use a stud finder. Place one duct cover wall bracket against the back wall so that the top edge is 1 16th inch from the ceiling and level. Align the center of the bracket with the center line of the hood. Mark bracket holes. Remove the bracket and drill two pilot holes into the framing with 1 16th inch drill bit. 
Secure the bracket to the wall using screws. Measure and place the second wall bracket against the back wall at X inches as shown in the table from the bottom of the top bracket. Mark the holes on the two vertical studs from the ceiling to the top of the hood and drill 1 16th inch pilot holes at marked locations. Install the wall anchors and secure the bracket to the wall using screws. To insert the house wiring to the junction box from the rear of the hood from the left side so that it is hidden, follow these steps. Measure 15 and 3 quarter inches from the bottom of the hood and 10 and a quarter inch to the left of the center line and mark the location. Then cut a hole approximately 1 and a quarter inch diameter at the marked location. To install installation bar, use the two vertical studs to ensure that the hood will be supported. Center the installation bar, left to right, above the marked line. Mark the intersection of the stud line and hole in the installation bar on the left and right sides. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes through the drywall and into the studs. Secure the installation bar to the vertical studs with the supplied screws. To drill the bottom mounting holes, hang the hood on the installation bar. Mark the mounting holes. Remove the hood. If the marked locations fall on a stud, drill 1 16th inch pilot holes. If the marked locations do not fall on a stud, drill 5 16th inch clearance holes at marked locations A and B. Install wall anchors by tapping the anchors with a hammer to seat the teeth of the flanges into the wall. Drive the anchor screws until the barrels crimp against the inside of the wall. Remove the screws from the wall anchors before installing the hood. To install top damper, screw the top damper to the hood body from the top. Seal all connections with aluminized duct tape. To install hood onto the wall, pull house wiring through knockout at the back or top of the hood. Lift the hood and place over the hooks on the installation bar and check if the hood is centered. Remove the cover from the junction box inside the hood. Pull the house wiring through the knockout at the back of the hood and secure with the strain relief. Tighten the wall anchor screws to finish hood body installation to the wall. To connect the ductwork, connect the house ducting to the top damper. Seal all connections with aluminized duct tape. Before you install the duct cover, Ensure that the hood installation is complete. The duct cover kit comes with an upper duct cover, lower duct cover, wall brackets, and a hardware package. Before continuing with the installation, ensure that the package has all the materials listed here. Secure the upper duct cover to the wall bracket using screws. After the upper duct is secured, place the lower duct cover on top of the hood. Slightly spread the sides of the duct cover apart and snap to the upper duct cover. Secure the lower duct cover to the hood body from inside the hood using six screws. Duct cover kit installation is complete. Let's next look at venting through the back wall. To install the hood onto the wall, Measure desired distance from the bottom of the hood to the cooking surface, 24 inches minimum over electric range or cooktop, or 30 inches minimum over gas range or cooktop. The maximum distance should be 36 inches. Use a level to draw the cooktop or range centerline location. Draw a horizontal line indicating the bottom of the hood and draw another horizontal line 16 and 3 quarter inches up from the bottom of the hood to indicate the bottom of the installation bar. For ducting through the rear wall, purchase back damper accessory UXBDA812 separately. Measure 5 and 7 8 inches up along the center line from the bottom of the hood. Make a 10 and a half inches by 13 and a quarter inches cutout centered left to right along the center line. Insert the house wiring to the junction box from the rear of the hood from the left side so that it is hidden. To route house wiring through the wall, 
Measure 15 and 3 quarter inches from the bottom of the hood and 10 and a quarter inches to the left of the center line and mark the location. Then, cut a hole approximately 1 and a quarter inch diameter at the marked location. Remove the rear knockout. To install the installation bar, locate a minimum of two vertical studs for the installation bar by tapping drywall with a hammer or use a stud finder. Center the installation bar left to right above the marked line. Hold the bar against the wall. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes through the drywall and into two vertical studs. Secure the installation bar to the two vertical studs with supplied screws. To drill the bottom mounting holes, hang the hood on the installation bar. Mark the mounting holes. Remove the hood. If the marked locations fall on a stud, drill 1 16th inch pilot holes. If the marked locations do not fall on a stud, drill 5 16th inch clearance holes at marked locations A and B. Install wall anchors by tapping the anchors with a hammer to seat the teeth of the flanges into the wall. Drive the anchor screws until the barrels crimp against the inside of the wall. Remove the screws from the wall anchors before installing the hood. To install back damper, uninstall the motor mounting plate from top venting position. Remove the square knockout for back venting and install the motor mounting plate. Install the back damper to the hood body. Install the metal plate provided with the accessory to cover the opening for top damper. To connect the ductwork, connect the transition piece to the back damper. To install hood onto the wall, pull house wiring through knockout at the back or top of the hood. Connect the house ducting to the transition for back venting. Place the hood over the hooks on the installation bar and check if the hood is centered. Remove the cover from junction box inside the hood. Pull the house wiring through the knockout at the top or back of the hood and secure with a strain relief. Tighten the wall anchor screws to finish hood body installation to the wall. Let's next look at the procedure to install the hood underneath the soffit. Before proceeding with the installation of the hood to soffit, please ensure to construct the soffit with 2x4 framing. Use a level to draw the cooktop or range center line. Install horizontal wood supports between the 2x4s at distance A to the left and right per the table. Extend the house ducting to the bottom of the soffit and maintain 10 and 5 eighths by 11 and a quarter inch opening to accommodate the hood damper. To route house wiring through the soffit to the top of the hood, mark a hole at 1 and a quarter inches forward from the back wall and 10 and a quarter inches to the left of the center line. Cut a 1 and a quarter inch diameter hole at the marked location. To route house wiring through the rear wall to the back of the hood, mark a hole at 15 and 3 quarter inches from the bottom of the hood and 10 and a quarter inches to the left of the center line. Cut a 1 and a quarter inch diameter hole at the marked location. Remove top or rear knockout depending on your installation. To install top damper, screw the top damper to the hood body from the top. Seal all connections with aluminized duct tape. To install hood to soffit, drill two 1 8 inch pilot holes at a distance of 10 and 5 8 inches from the back wall and distance A from the left of the center line in the horizontal wood supports. Drill two more 1 8 inch pilot holes at a distance of 2 1⁄2 inches from the back wall in the horizontal wood supports. Drive mounting screws into the studs until they protrude a quarter of an inch. This quarter inch gap will provide clearance to engage the keyhole slots in the top of the hood. To secure the hood to the back wall, push hood flush to the soffit before marking screw hole locations. Remove the hood. If the marked locations fall in a stud, drill 1 16th inch pilot holes. If the marked locations do not fall in a stud, drill 5 16th inch clearance holes at marked locations A and B. Install wall anchors by tapping the anchors with a hammer 
to seat the teeth of the flanges into the wall. Pull house wiring through the knockout at the rear or top of the hood. Connect the house ducting to the damper and seal with aluminized duct tape. Lift hood onto mounting screws and slide it back against the rear wall and tighten mounting screws. Remove junction box cover. Pull the house wiring through the knockout at the top or back of the hood and secure with the strain relief. Then drive screws to secure the hood to the back wall. This part of the installation is common to all three types of venting methods. To make electrical connection, use UL listed wire nuts to connect incoming white to white and black to black wires. Loosen the green grounding screw with grounding bracket and loop solid copper house wire clockwise around the green grounding screw and above the ground bracket. Firmly tighten the screw over the loop. Replace junction box cover and ensure wires are not pinched. To install the motor, align the motor exhaust with the top damper for top venting. For back venting, rotate the motor 90 degrees to align with the back damper. Secure the motor to the motor mounting plate using screws. Plug the motor connector into the mating connector on top of the control housing. Secure the motor wires to the motor clips for dual motor models after completing the previous steps. To install grease trays and filters, remove protective film and place grease drip trays into slots. Attach the baffle filters. By design, the maximum blower speed is greater than 400 CFM. To modify unit for local codes requiring reduced airflow, perform the steps with a qualified technician or installer. Remove the baffle filters and disconnect all the harnesses from the top of the control box on right side of motor. Loosen the screws on top of the control box and slide out to remove it from the hood. Also, uninstall the control box cover. For a maximum of 390 CFM, the unit can operate with four speeds, low, medium, high, boost. Disconnect the connectors of the brown wire. Remove the cap attached to the connector of the red wire. Connect the mating connector of the brown wire and the red wire. Attach the cap to the open brown wire connector. Reinstall the control box cover and secure the control box to the bracket in the hood using the two screws. Connect all harnesses on top of the control box and reinstall filters. This installation is complete.